Hi, my name is Nick Smallwood and I'm a consultant in acute medicine. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the three-point rule-in DVT scan as per the famous curriculum. And for this examination, I'll be using the linear probe. In this examination, we start with the probe in a transverse plane with the marker dot pointing towards the right of the patient. And we place it in approximately the femoral crease. Now, the most common pitfalls when people are starting out with DVT scanning are that the probe is not proximal enough and that too much pressure is applied. So as I gently slide the probe more proximally, we can see the Mickey Mouse sign come into view, which is comprised of the common femoral vein, the common femoral artery, and the great saphenous vein draining in from the right-hand side of the picture. Once you've identified the Mickey Mouse sign, and in this case we can see an early branch of the femoral artery, I move the probe a couple of half a centimetre distal, and then gently apply pressure and look for complete compressibility of the femoral vein. And as you can see, both walls of the femoral vein completely collapse and relax again on release of the pressure. This shows a patent femoral vein and therefore an absence of thrombus. We then encourage you to slowly follow the path of the femoral artery and femoral vein down the leg, compressing every couple of centimetres, just to ensure that the vein remains patent. Although, as you'll be aware, the famous scan is a three-point scan only, so this isn't mandatory. And we then move on to our next point, which is in the middle of the thigh. So the second point of scanning is the midpoint of the thigh with the probe in the transverse position and the dot pointing towards the right-hand side of the patient again. And we can see immediately into view is the femoral artery and the femoral vein. And as I apply pressure, the femoral vein walls completely collapse and the pulsatility of the femoral artery really comes into view. And as I release, the femoral vein fills again. This rules out the presence of thrombus at this point, and so I'm going to move on to the third point, which is in the popliteal fossa behind the knee. So the third point of the examination is in the popliteal crease, and the orientation of the probe here is slightly less important, but we're trying to identify the popliteal vein, and in this image we can see the first branch of the popliteal vein coming away here. And as I tilt the probe slightly more distal, we can then see the popliteal vein branch into two here. And so I tilt the probe back slightly more proximal to identify the popliteal vein and apply some pressure. And we'll see the vein fully collapse with the pulsatile artery still visible below it. And this completes the three-point DVT rule-in scan.